Okay, hello. I just woke up from a nap and I'm also incredibly sunburned. So I guess you could say life is good. Hi everyone. <coughs> Today's video, this week's content is a little bit different than the stuff that I usually make. For any of you who aren't familiar, hi, my name's Elena Joy. Usually I make content mostly about the LGBTQ community here on this channel, queer sex and relationships, but sometimes, and by sometimes I mean this is the first time, kind of. I guess I've done climbing in vlogs before, but for the first time really, we're doing a climbing video? I thought about ways that I could try and make it gay, <laughs> but then I remembered that Climbing is basically gay on its own. So the work has been done for me. I talk a lot about my love for climbing, but I've never really sat down and talked about climbing, like as a sport, as an activity, what it is, how you do it, how you get started. So I thought, let's bring two of the things that I love the most together, YouTube content creation and climbing, and make a video about it. So when I say lights, camera, action, on action, that means you're lying. That means turn it on. Okay. Turn on the charm. Okay. Oh wait, charm off. Okay. Charm's off. Lights or no? Three, <laughs> three, two, one. And the charm's on. <laughs> I'm really nervous. <laughs> but I wanted to show you, instead of just talking about different climbing stuff, I thought I could come to the gym and maybe show you a little bit. Some basics. Some basic tips. You do a leg kick, but I couldn't see it. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I started climbing at the end of 2020. So I've only been climbing for a year and a half. So I am by no means an expert. Like let's, let's put that disclaimer front and center. I am no expert. I am just a gal who discovered this thing that I absolutely love to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So <laughs> the amount that this sport has done for not only my physical health, but my mental health is mind blowing. Climbing is great for mental and physical health. Obviously I go to therapy for my mental health as well. And for my physical health, I wanna take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Ritual. You gotta take your vitamins. A huge thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Ritual is the obsessively researched multivitamin, taking the guesswork out of vitamins, bringing you nine essential and high quality nutrients that can be tough to get every day on even a healthy diet. I take the Ritual Essential Vitamins for Women and I love the transparency, like knowing exactly where the ingredients are coming from, knowing how they're sourced, but also the fact that they're completely vegan, they're non-GMO, they're allergen-free, gluten-free, there's no sugar added. They share exactly where all of the ingredients are sourced from, and when they ship out the orders, they use environmentally friendly materials. It's just all around a company that I'm happy to stand behind, and a supplement that I'm happy to take. And it's gentle on my stomach. This is my current bottle, almost empty. I can take these on an empty stomach, I don't have to like time them around my meals. Minty, fresh. I nurture my body and honestly my mental health through climbing, but I also nurture myself through making sure that I'm getting the nutrients that I need every single day. And you can get 20% off your first month if you use my link. That's ritual.com slash Elena20 for 20% off an entire month's worth of vitamins or protein. Now let's talk climbing. I do share a lot about it with you all on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, what are you doing? That's where the magic happens. But I wanted to share it with you all in this way too, even though I'm not a professional. I just thought I'd share with you all the things that I have learned in my year and a half of climbing thus far. So let's head to the gym and let's, let's hit those walls, baby. Let's, I don't even know what's some climbing, what's some climbing lingo. Let's send it. Let's go hard and send it. <laughs> Some climbing basics. Climbing 101, top couple of tips that I got when I was just starting that made a huge difference. And again, I am no expert. I really want to stress that I am no expert. But these are a couple things that really helped me. Do you want to come closer? <laughs> Slowly. It's okay. 
You're gonna find the tag, and if it's one single tag, that means you start both your hands on that hold. If you have two tags on two separate holds, oh, like this, then you start one hand on each hold. To finish a climb, you have to get both hands on the top hold at the same time for three seconds. That's how a climb is officially finished. And each root is one color. So you can't just use any hold that you want. If I'm gonna do a yellow climb, I can only use the yellow holds all the way up to the top. Uh, what else? These are called volumes, these gray things. Those are a free for all. You can use them with any climb. Tips. <laughs> Tip number one, keeping your arms straight. You're gonna save a lot of energy that way. A lot of the time when climbers start, you see people like doing this and like muscling themselves up the wall like this. When you keep your arms straight, you're saving a lot of energy, you can climb for a lot longer. So I'm gonna be grabbing the hold, letting my arm be straight. Grabbing the hold, letting my arms be straight. Tip number two, and this one is my favorite, whatever arm you're gonna be reaching with, that's the foot you wanna be pushing off of. So that's gonna help you keep your hips into the wall. Same idea, instead of climbing like this, where I'm facing, I'm front facing the wall, I wanna try and keep my hip into the wall. So if I'm gonna reach up for that hold, I'm gonna reach with my left hand, which means I wanna be pushing off my left foot. So instead of trying to pull and push and grab, if I just swap my feet and use my left, I can just stand up and grab the hold. Left foot, stand up and grab. See the difference? Do you see the difference, camera woman? Do you see the difference? Thank you so much. <laughs> also, please don't mind my flesh eating disease. I got a sunburn. Let's find out. Okay, so we've got our arms. We've got our arms straight. We're reaching with the same foot that we're pushing off of, keeping our hips into the wall. And climb with your toes. Instead of putting your foot sideways, and then let's say I needed to turn my body this way. If I'm using the middle of my foot, I can't, I can't move, I'm stuck. Whereas if I use my toe, and I need to turn my body, I can pivot because I'm on my toe. Couldn't do that if I was on the side of my foot. Ta-da! Those are some climbing basic tips <laughs> for beginners from basically a beginner myself. No, I'm, I'm exiting the frame. No, I'm, ex I'm making an exit. I started climbing when I was over in the UK and fell in love with it pretty quickly. I will say it was not like a love at first sight, almost, but not quite. The first few times that I went, I thought it was okay, but I didn't love it because I wasn't good at it. I wasn't the best, so I didn't want to do it anymore. The mantra of the oldest daughter. <laughs> The mantra of the perfectionist. Obviously when I started, I didn't know what I was doing. It was quite terrible <laughs> and not strong at all. Like I had no strength. But there are climbs for every ability level. Different gyms will use different rating systems, but there's always gonna be some sort of system in place so you can know the difficulty of each climb. So whether you're a beginner beginner and you have never climbed before and you don't know what you're doing and you don't feel very strong or good at it, or you're like, pro level and like training to climb an actual mountain or something, there will be climbs for you. So that's to answer one question I get a lot, which is, hey, I've never done this before. Can I show up at a gym? Absolutely, yes you can. So we're gonna just do this yellow climb so I can kind of illustrate some of the stuff that I was talking about. Single tag, one hold, means a two hand start. We're going up there. So, okay, so I'm going down here. If I was gonna reach with my right hand, I'm gonna wanna get my right hip into the wall to reach. So let's go right hand here. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go left hand up there, so I wanna go up with my left foot. Same thing, left hip into the wall and stand up. I'm gonna put my left foot up higher also to give myself a bit more leverage. Pushing with this foot to go here. Right foot's going over to these tiny, scary little holds. But see how I'm trying to keep my hip my hip into the wall. I'm not, I'm not falling off like this. 
I'm keeping myself tight to the wall to then stand up, rock myself over, two hands onto the top, and that's a finished climb. And then if you were like really being good, you would down climb. That's a really good way to practice. Down climbing is where you climb I mean, it's just climbing down. If you're new and looking to get into it, I would highly recommend taking some sort of class. I took a bouldering class here in Vancouver. It was like a women in bouldering class, and that was so helpful. Okay, let's talk types of holds. This is your most basic hold. It's called a jug. <laughs> There's a boob joke in there somewhere. A jug essentially means that you can get your hand into it and get a really good grip. That's a jug. A crimp is any type of hold where you can't put your hand in and you can only get kind of like your fingertips on it. So that's a crimp. This is a crimp. This is a jug. Anything round where you're kind of palming it is called a sloper. So that's a sloper. This is like a sloper where you're kind of palming it. This is called a pocket where you put your, oh, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's kind of a jug because I can hold it fully with my hand. But when they're like littler holes, it's called a pocket. This is a good example of, po of pockets, when you can only fit a couple fingers in. Stop it. Anything where you're putting your fingers on one side and your thumb on the other side is called a pinch. What other types of holds are there? Another type of climbing hold is an edge. These are kind of like big crimps, a flat kind of hold, but there's more surface area for your hand than on a crimp. An edge is kind of like a big crimp. These are good crimps. These are really little crimps. I don't see any, but an undercling is... An undercling is exactly what it sounds like. It's a hold that you're holding backward. Undercling. Oh, this type of hold? These are called... Breasts? <laughs> Sorry, you said they're called knockers? Boobies? Yeah. <laughs> and then when you do go to a gym, even if you go alone, which again, totally fine. Tons of people climb alone. There's, It's not weird at all to show up to the gym by yourself. It's super easy to meet and talk with people at a climbing gym because all it takes is you choosing a climb that you wanna work on and then seeing if other people are also trying that same climb and talking to them about it. It's like built-in conversation starters. One piece of etiquette that I will caution you against. Hi, Boogs. It's totally fine to ask people how they do climbs or ask people for a tip. Totally fine, totally acceptable, encouraged. Do not, if you can do something and you see somebody else struggling to do that same move or struggling to figure out that same climb, what you don't want to do is go and offer them advice or tell them how to do it. Different people are going to do climbs differently. So there are multiple types of beta ways to do the climb that exist. And half of the fun for a lot of us climbers is figuring out the beta on our own. So it may look like somebody's struggling to figure something out on the wall. That doesn't mean that they want help. They might wanna figure it out themselves, you know? So just don't do that. Other than that, talk away, go make friends, go chat. And then there's also, you'll hear people talk about static climbing and dinos or dynamic climbing. Let's go over here, I'll show you. Come with me. So a static type of move, if I wanted to grab that, this is static. A static move is where you're not, you're not using momentum. You're just grabbing. Static climbing, static climbing. I'm climbing slowly and statically and I'm using I'm swapping my feet and I'm pushing with the foot that I'm reaching with oh and then this what I'm doing with this foot is called flagging it's counterbalancing your weight so again instead of hanging myself down and trying to throw myself around I'm turning my hip into the wall and then holding myself in place with the flag but now I want to go for that one I want to use my left hand so I want to get my left foot left hip in the wall flag out my right and stand up. Two hands, and that's a finished climb. Oh, okay, my arms are getting tired now. Dynamic movement, or dinos, I'm terrible at. It's any move where you're using momentum. So jumping is dynamic, a dino. Anything where you're kind of starting down low and throwing yourself. So from here to there, that's gonna be a dino because I couldn't just statically reach it. So I'm gonna have to 
jump. Another question that I get a lot is about having a fear of heights. Like people will say, I'm scared of heights. Can I still go climbing? Absolutely. You only have to climb up as high as you're comfortable. There's a lot of room in climbing for like a customizable experience. If you go to a climbing gym, even if you don't make it to the top of a single climb, it doesn't mean you weren't climbing. It doesn't mean you didn't have a good time. It doesn't mean you didn't get a good workout. It doesn't mean you didn't do something good for yourself. If going to the top of the wall scares you, then don't go all the way to the, to to the top. That's okay. You can climb halfway up, climb back down. Maybe the next time you go, you climb one inch higher. Over time, you're gonna learn to trust yourself. You're gonna learn to trust coming off of the wall and that fear is gonna be less and less. Just because you have the fear now doesn't mean that you shouldn't try. And that same mentality applies for climbs that you just can't do. Like there are gonna be climbs where you can do the whole thing except for one move. Maybe there's a climb that you just can't do the start. You just can't get that first move. So hop on at the second move and try the rest of it. Just because you can't do the whole thing start to finish doesn't mean that you're not benefiting from the practice of the rest of the climb. Dinos are an example for me. I am not good at them. I'm gonna attempt to do this little baby dino. Like I said, I'm not very good at them, so we'll see how this goes, but hopefully you'll get an idea of the difference between like a static move and a dynamic move. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to try and throw myself up there. <sighs> I don't like it. See, that's the idea, but I don't know. I don't know that I can. I need some chalk. What's the chalk for? Helps you maintain your grip. You gotta answer a full question. I mean, a full sentence. Oh, a full sentence. The point of chalk is to help you maintain your grip. Like that, I grabbed it, but I slipped off. Proper fall technique. This is proper fall technique. Oh no, I'm falling. Sometimes if the first move of a climb is a dyno and I can't do it, I'll either skip it and just practice the rest of the climb because it's still helpful or I'll cheat or I'll cheat the move. This is another good tip. If you can't do a certain move with the set holds, right? So on this climb, I couldn't make that dyno from the first black hold, the jump to the second black hold. So I cheated and I used my left hand on a different hold that's part of a different climb in order to give myself more leverage to practice that first move. So was I officially technically doing that climb? No, but was I still improving and practicing and hopefully getting closer to being able to do that climb in the future? Yes. So don't be afraid to cheat the start, cheat the moves in order to get yourself closer to the ability level that you wanna be at. What would you wanna know? Do you have any questions? As the professional climber that you are? When should you just give up? <laughs> um, once you fail three times. When I started, I was not good. I could not do, I could maybe do one chin up. Maybe. And all that I've done over the past year and a half is essentially climb as much as possible. <laughs> so I've been climbing pretty consistently, I'm gonna say three times a week for the past year and a half. And that's how I've built my strength. That's how I've improved. I watch climbing videos on YouTube. I try to practice different techniques. I have a hangboard now, which is basically a finger strength training tool. Now I'm, I'm trying to incorporate some certain types of workouts and flexibility things because I'm obsessed and wanna get better. But to get started, all you need 
is to just get started. You don't need a base level strength. You don't need to be a certain weight. You don't need to be a certain height or a certain age. You just gotta get out there and try it. I guess that's it, right? What else do we have to show them? It's really fun. If you're interested in getting into it, I'd highly recommend it. Just go to your local gym. I know a lot of you are scared to go alone. It's no big deal. Everybody's super friendly. And that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about in this first video, I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you wanna see me climbing like a lot, go follow me over on Instagram because that's where I post pretty much everything that I do. Another huge thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. You can take care of your physical health by going to the gym and keeping yourself moving, but you also have to take care of yourself by getting the vitamins and nutrients that you need. And remember that you can get 20% off your first month if you use my code, Elena20. And as always, a huge thank you to my VIP patrons, my vitally important producers. You all make my world go round. Don't forget, the limited edition Boogs pin, ding, is happening right now, where if you sign up at the $5 tier or higher by April 26th, you'll be getting one of these bad boys in the mail. If you're already a patron, don't worry about it. Send it to you for free. That's it for this video. I love you all very much. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Did you like this type of video? Do you want to see more climbing content? And I will see you in the next one. Bye! <gasps> You're doing great. You're doing so good, sweetie. You're being such a good Instagram boyfriend. Husband.